Hello everybody, I'm Mr. Nobodies, and welcome to a short video tutorial on how to interact with the Mr. Nobody stream over on twitch.tv slash Mr. Nobodies. We've been streaming RimWorld over there for about a week now, and we have a handful of unique features that allow our viewers to interact in a very different way. So I just wanted to make this tutorial and just sort of let you guys know what it looks like from the viewer's end. So let's go ahead and start up the stream. I have it set to... Uh, a super secret mode that is I changed the name to super secret tutorial stream so hopefully nobody trolls us too much all right so normally when you join the stream this is what you'll see you'll just see me playing RimWorld panning around panicking generally building stuff up whatever let's get all these resources queued up so that our rich colonist can uh, do a colonialism with them and you know this is generally fine this is about as happy as people tend to be interacting with a streamer you can like go into chat you know chat with me about whatever daily events tell me to go fuck myself whatever but the mr nobody stream has a handful of extensions and mods that allow viewers to get even more involved i'm going to apologize in advance for the kaleidoscope vision that's about to happen all right as the kaleidoscope slowly fills out you can see here that there is a little symbol this is the rim connect extension if you click on this you'll see that you have the option to view polls and polls delete polls this is if you're a moderator but more importantly than that we have the store while you're lurking in chat you get 30 silver every two minutes and you can use that silver to send in various events characters and supplies so weapons drugs, items, food, and so on. So as you can see up in the corner here, we have 120 silver. If we want to send in a colonist, we just go ahead and hit the select awful colonist button. Then we go back over to RimWorld and... Well, bam, we get a new event, Twitch Drop. As we can see, we now have a new colonist, and not just are they in here, but they can do any jobs. They can be drafted, they can do any of the normal work. Unfortunately, this guy's like on the opposite side of the mountain from us, so let's just send him on home. Now, this guy is an awful colonist. So he's incapable of dumb labor, skilled labor, firefighting. He's a pyromaniac, depressive, slowpoke. He has practically no skills, one passion, uh, one major passion, and a couple of lesser passions. What an absolute lord. As you may have noticed, there are all sorts of things you can purchase. Drugs, you can purchase weapons, you can purchase raids. So, if you're feeling extra spicy one day, you can go over to our Twitch stream, hit the uh, little icon here, go to the store, scroll on down, and we can just send in a drop raid. Then, you wait for the streamer to start the stream back up, you know, unpause the game, and... Oh no, we're under attack! This will instantly pause the game so that the streamer has time to prepare themselves, and then, once they're prepared... It looks like the drop pod takes a couple of seconds. Oh god. Yuna, protect us! Yeah, Yuna with her magical plasma rifle or charger rifle, whatever. Fantastic. But that's not the only way you can interact with the stream. If you're interested, you can go on over to the chat in our lovely little stream here. We're gonna poke on into the chat and let Nightbot know by typing into the chat, exclamation point, I'm in. Nightbot responds with a link to a very special website. So we hit the button for that website, and this is Puppeteer. Puppeteer is a very interesting mod that allows players to assign assign their viewers, the characters in their game. So we're gonna click on the game itself to let the streamer know, hey, I'm interested in taking over a character. Now, you see up in the corner, a little face pops up, letting the streamer know somebody's interested in joining. Now, in our chat, I would much rather that you come into the Twitch chat and let me know if there's any characters you're specifically interested in playing as, if you have any specific kinds of preferences because of how or how our characters work. There are all sorts of interesting kinds of characters. So we have all sorts of weird characters. We have like undead furries, we have mutated monstrosities, we have whatever the hell lefty is, we have magic casters, we have cats that are people, we've got deer that are people. 
We've got this. That's barely sentient. <laughs> we have all sorts of available options for players to choose. And so I would much rather you come into the Twitch chat to let me know what kind of character would you want to play. And if it's available, I'll make it available to you. If it's not, once again, you can always go into Twitch chat and either hang out for a while to get yourself a good colonist of some form, or, you know, try to rather quickly lurk to get um, an awful colonist. So, just as before, if you don't see any characters you want to play, we go over to the stream here, we go back over to Twitch, we click on the little icon, we go to the store, but this time we don't want to give ourselves a bad character, we want to give ourselves a good colonist. And back into the stream, we see we have Balio. Balio, pretty good dude. So, because this is my character now, we're gonna assign this to Mr. Nobody's. So, I know I could already control the character from in-game, but we're going to step out of the game for a moment and take a look at what we can do in Puppeteer. So, we bring our screen over to Puppeteer. Give me a moment, let me just get rid of that chat box. This is our Puppeteer screen. This lets us control the character in various different ways. We can control the sleep schedule, we can draft our character, we can tell them to flee if they get attacked, attack back, or ignore the enemy. We can choose people to attack if we have a weapon of some form. We can equip weapons if there's any nearby. We can choose various policies for outfits and drugs. We can rest and tend to people who have injuries. In the second screen... So this is <laughs> where you as a viewer can control your character in Puppeteer. There are various options for things to do. All right, so we can have our character mine, chop wood, all sorts of stuff. And here, we can zoom the map in and out with this bar. Now, unfortunately, like I said, I'm not gonna have a lot of success showing you guys this because I'm playing the game and this mo stuff mostly only changes while the game is running on the streamer's end. But we can do things like checking our health, our character's needs. We can see what's currently going on with the character here. We can see their skills and abilities. We can set their priorities. So this is our character, we can change these. If we go back over to the game for just a moment, we see on the streamer's end, you know, we have all these tasks set to three. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna start setting these to four on the streamer end. And when we go back to our browser, you can see that all of them have changed. Now. We can go ahead and muss with these all we like as well. So we're going to make it so that we clean, haul. Actually, we're never going to clean. We're never going to haul. We're just, we want to do art all day. This is, this is our thing. So we're just never doing anything but art. Screw you, streamer. I'm an artist. Screw you, mom and dad. I'm doing art. You don't understand me. We're not even doing magic. We're not even pushing buttons. We'll do bed rest, because sleeping's nice. We're never going to be a doctor. We're never going to be a firefighter. We're going to be a patient, and we're going to sleep, and we're going to do art. We go back over to the stream itself. And you can see that on the streamer's end, all of these things have changed. There are a handful more things that you can do. Um, our view My viewers have found out ways to... Uh, place new uh, place new orders on blocks Destroy existing orders on blocks. They have for instance seen how to cancel creating a steel tile here I've had viewers equip weapons and attack other characters One player blew up my base So there's all sorts of things you can do all sorts of things still yet to discover because you know I'm just the streamer. I don't really know what's going on on your end but I hope that this basic overview has gotten you interested in joining the stream and um, ho hopefully at least clarified a couple of things for you as far as what um, viewers are capable of using Rim Connect and Puppeteer. So there will be links to both of those down in the description because I want to make sure that those mods get as much love as possible. I guess that's it. So in the meantime, um, I hope that you're interested in joining the colony, but most importantly, just remember, 
Nobody's cares. Thank you very much and good night. Oh. Oh, what is Jason doing? Oh my god, no! Um, um. Oh my god, no! No! Fuck! Yukiko, everybody, please fight that fire! <laughs> it's like in here!